entering into an old coin season. We had the Bitcoin narrative leading up to the Bitcoin halving. Are we officially seeing a falling in the Bitcoin dominance? I'm going to break down exactly what we're seeing today. We are seeing Bitcoin up 4%. We are seeing all coins move nicely here in the green as well. Is this the early innings of what could be an explosive move on your all coin portfolio? I'm going to break that down and a lot more. By the way, guys, we are actively trading in this community. You can see here, Render took a trade on Render 17.5% just to my first take profit. So whilst I was in the gym today, 17.5% spot trade here, guys. I don't leverage. I don't use any margin. Simple, straightforward spot trades. You guys can join our community. EJarsCrypto.com forward slash TG. The link will be in the description. Now, as you can see here on Bitcoin, we did get a very, very important bounce. We bounced off the bottom of this channel. And now you can see a very, very important bullish continuation pattern. This is a bull flag, guys. These patterns, if they break to the upside, can lead to very explosive growth. And as you can see here on Bitcoin, if we can work our way back towards the top of this channel here, this could be the move that not only breaks us back to new all times highs past 74, but could be really, really explosive. In fact, if you've taken my TA course, you will know that to take this measured move, you take the full impulse, right? Now, I can technically take the impulse move from here. Let me be conservative. Let me take it from here. Let me assume the impulse move was from here to here. And let me apply this at the point of breakout. And you'll see that the price target of this move takes you up towards $95,000. Now, what's amazing is this is no longer pie in the sky thinking of, oh, look, Bitcoin's going to 100,000. No, this is a very normal technical analysis pattern, which I just showed you, which can get you up towards those 100,000 price points. Very strong move here on Bitcoin bouncing. But something even more important is happening, right? We are seeing that Bitcoin today is trying its best to reclaim the EMA ribbon. Now, why is that so important? We do not want to lose our EMA ribbon, guys. Every time on the daily chart, when we've lost our EMA ribbon, it's led us to a big pullback. We don't want that here on Bitcoin. We want to reclaim our EMA ribbon. More importantly, what we want to do is avoid this ribbon from flipping. If we were to get rejected here, if Bitcoin, and it's still possible, right? It's still possible. If Bitcoin's to get rejected here, we get sent back down to the downwards direction. This EMA ribbon, the lighter yellow colored lines, would cross over the darker color lines and we would enter a painful downward trend. We do not want to do that. We want to maintain the strength on Bitcoin, close this daily candle above, right? Which needs to close about where we are here at 66.2 or a little bit higher would be nice. And then we need to set ourselves a target of working our way back to the top of this channel. If we can get to the top of the channel, touch that 74,000 level again, and then break, we can set our way onwards to 80K and beyond. And it could be a really explosive move. Because remember, we're right now facing a bunch of resistance, right? If you zoom out on the charts, you can see that this is now the resistance area from the current previous all-time highs. Once we clear those again and go back into price discovery, do not be surprised to see price action move quite powerfully, especially with the Bitcoin halving behind us. Now, one of the other things you need to be very aware of is that the market is calming down a little bit due to the easing of tensions. But those tensions to do with Israel, Iran, the Middle East, etc., that could escalate any given moment. So you've got to be very, very careful when you're trading. You've got to understand that these things can move the market. So if you're in leverage, you could get wrecked. You've got to be very, very careful. I'm going to show you why. Jump on over to my profile on Twitter and you will see this video is brought to you by Stake Layer. Revolutionize your Bitcoin investments with Stake Layer, the cutting edge platform dedicating to maximizing your returns through innovative restaking technology. With Stake Layer, you can enjoy a user friendly interface, unmatched security to protect your investments, and transparent processes without hidden fees. Their mission is to make Bitcoin earnings accessible, profitable, and secure for investors worldwide. Ready to take your Bitcoin to the next level? The link is in the description to get started with Stake Layer today. And remember, Remember, as with any crypto project, please do your own research. This tweet here, which I posted five hours ago. Once Bitcoin hits $71.6,000, there'll be a $2.8 billion worth of short liquidations. $2.8 billion worth of short liquidations sit at this point. Okay, There's a lot of people betting against Bitcoin, trying to snipe it 
from above and those people can get wrecked and what happens once you uh, liquidate those guys it should give you a nice short squeeze to move the price to the upside so really really important now the other thing i want to touch on was the altcoin season right are we heading into an altcoin season well look at this guys you can see that bitcoin dominance is sitting at 55 percent. but what is important was we had a little bit of a fake out i mean if we were to take this line here and draw this very regimentally here across you can see that bitcoin dominance broke out and now it's broken back down in right so you can see that on the daily candle we've we've gone back below and so the question now is can this be rejected right and but remember very important a lot of people get confused for Bitcoin dominance to go down, i.e. an altcoin season, it does not mean that Bitcoin needs to be red, right? Very important. Let's understand. It means that altcoins need to run faster than Bitcoin. If altcoins run faster than Bitcoin, like for example today, near protocols running 7.4%, right? And Bitcoin's running 3.6%. So all coins are running a little bit faster. If that's happening for every single all coin or the, the aggregation of all the all coins, then you'll see Bitcoin dominance fall to the downside. If we see Bitcoin dominance want to pull back down towards 52%, we could see an exciting market for all coins and you can see all coins start to explode. If you take a look at the market today, it's a nice decent green market, right? Certain protocols moving like near protocol, say Aave with 4.2% today, Pendle's moving at 122 You got Pepe on the meme narrative moving up around 10% as well today. So we're getting a little bit of excitement. The other thing to be very wary of is this, which is the fear and greed index. Fear and greed is sitting at 73. This market, even through pretty much, you know, the Middle East conflict and fears of World War Three, it doesn't care. This market is going, no, the Bitcoin halving is here. We've had the Bitcoin halving. I am not getting out of this market. And I can relate to that. I am certainly not going to be sitting out of this market right now. When you've got Bitcoin in a bull flag pattern, do you think I'm going to sit out and not watch this pattern play out? No chance. I'm locked and loaded. I'm in this market. There's no way I would set this market out. If we get pullbacks, more meaningful pullbacks, I would want to buy. Let me show you something else. Let me pull out the weekly chart. Let's clear up some of these lines. And you can see this is the mess we had over the last three weeks. Crazy volatility, yes. But in the great scheme of things, when you zoom out, is it really that bad? I mean, that's what we had. I know it feels violent. And oftentimes, if you guys are trading with leverage, you feel it a little bit more, right? You get wrecked. But the reality is, if you're sitting there with spot bags, this is not a problem whatsoever. Remember, a pullback to the weekly EMA ribbon is 56,000. Now, imagine if Bitcoin now dropped to 56,000, lost $10,000 in the next hour or two. I wouldn't panic. I'd be buying at that EMA ribbon. And the deeper we go into this EMA ribbon, all the way to the depths of it at around that 44K mark, I would be buying because I've got conviction. And you need to ask yourself the same thing. If you're buying Bitcoin now, if you're nibbling, if you're DCAing on the bad days, and then Bitcoin was to fall down towards 50,000, let's say, would you panic? If you would panic, it means you don't have conviction right? And that's the thing right now. So when a lot of people say, oh, is it all coin season? Is it Bitcoin season? For me, I buy when there's discounts on anything. For me, it's not about rotating and going, oh, I'm going to sell all my Bitcoin now and put it all into this altcoin. And then I'm going to sell all my altcoins now and put it into Bitcoin. No. Fundamentally, I have Bitcoin in my portfolio. It's a lot of the portfolio. Then I have a lot of Ethereum. I have a lot of the mid caps and I have a lot of the small caps and then some gems, right? And that's how I hold my portfolio. Very simple. And I don't try to time between them. If I like the project, I wait for bad days and I buy. Simple as that, right? I mean, look at here, Phantom. 2.3% up. But look at the weekly EMA ribbon. It's closer to its weekly EMA ribbon. So if this was a project which you wanted in your portfolio, why are you not buying closer to the, closer to the EMA ribbon? Of course, do your own research. But many people would make the mistake of buying here right on the extension, buying at $1.29. Why? When you could be buying right here when it touches back into the EMA ribbon at 55 cents, all by waiting a couple of weeks. Simple right? Buying on pullbacks, buying from positions of strength. And then when these pumps happen, when these fun weeks happen, that's when you're going to see your portfolio grow. And that is when you need to start thinking about trimming, right? When there's markets super excited, super frothy, that's when you want to take some of the risk off the table. Cool. Hopefully you guys found this useful. All coins are looking strong right now. Bitcoin looking strong. We needed to hold the momentum. We need the wider macroeconomics to continue to play ball. It's a big earnings week this week as well. So we'll keep an eye on that. But if Bitcoin can remain strong, if we can see dominance fall a little bit, just, just kind of pull back a little bit like I showed you in the chart, that could lead to all coins running. If you appreciate this type of video, don't forget to smash up likes. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.